In the last video, we talked about utility and utility functions, and specifically how two utility functions can be the same. In this video, we're going to continue with that topic and talk about how we can transform from one utility function to another and tell whether or not two functions are really equivalent. So the first thing to remember with monotonic transformations is that two functions are considered the same if the order of preferences is preserved. And that means that the choices that I would make or the bundles of goods that I prefer are the same under the two different functions, then those functions are equivalent and represent the same preferences. So an example of this would be consider the utility function of x plus y and the bundles of 1x, 1y or 1x, 2y. It's easy to see that this bundle would give a utility of 1 plus 1 equal to 2 and this bundle would give a utility of 3. Now what if we consider the utility function that's equal to 10 times x plus y. Using these same bundles, 1, 1 would give a value of 2 in here that would be multiplied by 10, meaning that it would yield a utility of 20. And 1, 2 would give a value of 3 times 10, which would yield a utility of 30. So it's obvious that the utility values, 20 and 2 and 30 and 3, are different. But the way to recognize that these two utility functions are equivalent is if the choice that you would make based on the utility function is the same. And in this case, I would choose this. And in the case of the utility function with the 10 multiplied in front, I would also choose the bundle that had 1x and 2y. Now for these two utility functions to be considered the same, I would have to make the same choice for every possible bundle. That means that any time where I would make a choice under this utility function, I would make the same choice with this one. So you may have noticed that these two functions look very similar, except for that this function just has a 10 multiplied out in front. And that's one common transformation, is that if it's multiplied by a constant, it's likely an equivalent function. Another com common transformation is if it is raised to some power. meaning that we've changed the exponent. And the third one that's common to use is a um, ln, or natural logarithm. Now, examples of bad transformations, let me scroll down, would be a transformation that changes the order of preferences. So if we go with our previous example of u is equal to x plus y, then we consider what if we had multiplied by instead of 10, what if we had multiplied by negative 10? And we said our utility was equal to negative 10 times x plus y. Now this is going to reverse our preferences. So the bundle 1, 1 will yield negative 20. The bundle 1, 2 would yield negative 30. And since negative 30 is less than negative 20, this would change our preferences to prefer the bundle with 1, 1, meaning that these two utility functions can't be the same. Another example of a bad transformation that you should be able to tell because the preferences change is what if I had a utility function that was very simple that was just equal to x? 
I was just as happy as however many x I got. For the other, if I raise it to a power of negative 1, then this would be equal to 1 over x. And now, if I had the option between 1x or 2x, for this first one, I would clearly choose 2. But with the se second bundle, 1x would leave me 1 happy, and 2x would leave me only 1 half happy, meaning that I would choose to have just 1. So in both of these cases, we have a good example of what not to do, and that's multiplying by a negative or raising to a negative power usually will flip the preferences on their head, making them no longer the same. But there is a way that we can check and see if a transformation is a legal monotonic transformation, meaning we can check and see if the functions are the same. So let's take some function. We'll do 2x times y. So if our utility is equal to 2x times y, and I want to see if that is equal to the utility of x times y. Now the way I'm going to do that is find what we call the g of u function, or the transformation that takes place moving from this function over to that function. And in this case, we can see that we, we lost the 2. So moving from here to here, it was divided by 2. So that means our g of u function is equal to 1 half of u, which is another way of saying that our original u was divided by 2, and that is our new function here. Now the way that we test after we have written g of u to see if it's a monotonic transformation is we take the derivative of the g of u function with respect to u. And in this case, that's going to be equal to just 1 half. If the derivative of the g of u function is greater than zero, it means that yes, it is a monotonic transformation. 